All right, today we're talking about North Plains, Oregon, which is the fastest growing town in the Portland metro area. If you're moving to the Portland metro area and looking for a little more of a laid back lifestyle, a little bit of a smaller town outside of the city, you're gonna wanna see this. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from North Plains, Oregon today. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fastest growing town in the Portland metro area. So for context, we're looking at a town of about uh, what was about 3,500 people has grown to about 5,000 people. So still a very, very small town, but growing very quickly. Now, this is on the west side of the Portland metro area, uh, just a little bit north of Hillsboro and a little bit further west. So you're a good 30 minutes from downtown Portland, probably about 25 miles from Portland. And you're really out in the country. I mean, North Plains itself is a small little town with a main street, small town USA, um, as far as, you, you know, just kind of the main street going through town, a couple of restaurants, a couple of shops, things like that. But you're right on Highway 26, which is that main highway that connects Portland on the west side, all, going all the way out to the coast, to the beach, and along Highway 26 through that corridor where uh, it's referred to as Sunset Highway, you have Beaverton, and then Hillsboro, and then you get into some smaller communities like North Plains, Forest Grove, Banks on the south side of Highway 26. So there are some communities out here that are similar to North Plains, uh, but again, North Plains very rapidly growing. So why is that? Why are people moving to North Plains uh, as opposed to maybe some other smaller communities around Portland? Now, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. We've helped so many people relocate to Oregon and move to the Portland metro area. And as real estate professionals, we love to help with that process. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to Portland. Well, I think there's a number of factors playing into it. For sure, this has the small town charm. This has the out of town, small town country living that I think a lot of people do really like and a lot of people are looking for. Over the past few years, we've seen a lot of people moving out of Portland, not necessarily leaving Oregon, but looking for areas around the Portland metro area that are a little bit quieter, a little bit, uh, have a little bit less fuss, a little uh, less hustle and bustle, all of those things. A lot of people are working remotely now, right? So people can work from anywhere. So, uh, you know, people can uh, choose to live in an area that isn't necessarily right in the city or in closer proximity to the city. Um, and it's beautiful out here. So we are in this uh, area on the west side of the Portland metro area that is more or less the Tualatin Valley. So North Plains, right? So this is a pretty flat area and you're on the northern end of where you have this Tualatin Valley area, but just north of town in North Plains, you get up into the West Hills. So you get up onto like Pumpkin Ridge, and then you can get uh, all the way uh, onto where the Tualatin Mountains are. If you go up and over, you're gonna get down into Highway 30 in areas like Scapoose, for example, uh, which are getting closer to uh, the Columbia River. But those areas are very separated because you have this little mountain range that separates kind of the, the north side of it from the south side. So where you are in North Plains, you're in a more or less flat landscape, flat area uh, with these uh, nice hills and mountains set back behind you to the north. Um, and if you go up the hill a little bit, you're going to be able to find some homes up there. There is some residential development, but you're looking at land, acreage, a lot of farms and things like that. There's not a ton of development. Um, or things like that once you get outside of North Plains. Now, in North Plains, you're going to find kind of your run-of-the-mill small town type living as far as the neighborhood. Uh, there's definitely sections of town that are older. There's sections of town that were developed in the last 
40, 50, 60 years. And then you have all this new construction going on on the north side of town. So really cool to see you have this big open area where there have probably been at least a couple of hundred, uh, at least a couple hundred homes that have been built. And I'm not sure how many homes are being built out here right now, but there is a ton of open land and a ton of open space that looks like it's all getting developed. So there very well could be a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand plus homes that are being built here in North Plains. Now, another thing that's really going to attract people out this way is your home values are going to be a little bit less than closer into the city. That's going to hold true for any major city in the country and any metro area. The further away you get from the city, generally, housing prices are a little bit more affordable. But uh, I mean, and I'm sure the locals here in North Plains would tell you that as the city or as the town starts to grow, as there's more development going on, that's certainly going to have an impact on home prices. So home prices have certainly increased in North Plains and you can see a trajectory where North Plains being such a fast growing area, you're gonna see home values outpace probably some other areas in the Portland metro area, but still relatively affordable when you compare it to in particular suburbs that are close into Portland, like a Beaverton, Lake Oswego, Tigard, for example. Now, most of what you would need day to day is going to be in town for the most part, but you have Hillsboro so close to you, which is a really big suburb of Portland, right? Well over 100,000 people, really big area with ton of grocery stores and shopping, a little bit of entertainment, um, you know, uh, medical services, hospitals, uh, public transportation if you did need to get into Portland, for example. So Hillsboro has a ton to offer uh, neighboring North Plains. So it's not like that, you know, you're so far out in the country or so far removed in this small town that you have to travel a really long ways to get the things that you need. Now, if you were getting into Portland or into areas that are closer into around Portland, it's not going to be nearly as convenient, right? So you have the standard rush hour traffic, but just you have the distance alone uh, that making that commute on a regular basis could be a little bit difficult. Some people aren't going to mind it. Some people, the trade-off is totally going to be worth it. For example, if you're moving to Portland and working in Portland, but wanted an area that was a little more rural feeling, um, you can make it work for sure. But point being is that Hillsboro has so much to offer just south of North Plains on the other side of Highway 26 and everything you need is going to be right there. I think the biggest thing that North Plains has to offer is the natural beauty and how open it is, how quiet, how peaceful it is out here. So, you know, you're looking at an area that's growing. So five years from now, 10 years from now, you know, these dynamics could change a little bit, but I think the people are really attracted to this area because you have such a cool contrast of this, you know, quaint, you know, kind of picturesque little small town and then just outside of town, you know, to uh, the north, to the west, even a little bit to the east, you just have open land, right? You know, open farmland, uh, rolling hills. Again, you have uh, the, the mountain range uh, just set north of you. So uh, really cool landscape and overall very, very beautiful place to live. So I, I, again, I think that's going to be uh, really the primary attraction. I mean, there's not going to be a ton to do here. You know, there's not going to be a ton in the way of entertainment necessarily, depending on what you like to do for entertainment, because you do have some parks in town. I've been to a lot of places around the Portland metro area. This has got to be the coolest playground I've ever seen. So if you have kids, definitely worth checking out the Jesse Mays Community Park here in North Plains. 
So a couple of little parks. Uh, you have Pumpkin Ridge Golf Course, you know, arguably, you know, the highest rated or best golf course in the Portland metro area. Um, and you also have Horning's Hideout, which is actually where I'm at right now. And Horning's Hideout has a disc golf course. They have uh, some lakes and ponds that you can fish in. They do weddings out here. They do music festivals. They do other types of festivals throughout the year. And it is a, a gorgeous landscape uh, that you would never know is here, you know, until you get off the road come down the hill and uh you know really see this for what it is now so Horning's hideout is going to be you know just about a 10 15 minute drive from north plains so you can definitely get up into here pretty quickly um, you're going to be able to get out to the oregon coast in probably a little bit less than an hour maybe just right at about an hour getting out to seaside or cannon beach you're going to have some wineries out here and then all the way extending south due south from here you're going to have a ton of uh, oregon wine country so a lot of wineries are going to be very accessible and again getting into Hillsboro relatively straightforward so movie theaters and community centers and shopping and you know all of the things that you might want to do for entertainment um, are going to be in relatively close proximity but again there's not a ton that you can do just right at your doorstep, you know, right here in town in North Plains. But if North Plains is an area that sounds interesting to you, again, it's going to be a certain type of person looking for a certain type of living and lifestyle who would move out to a community like this. But if that's what you're looking for, or if you want to talk about areas that are similar to North Plains, because there's definitely options that offer a similar lifestyle, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with with us. And on that call, we can talk about what you're looking for, what type of area you're looking for, your budget, your timeline, really put together a game plan for you. And if this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.